Papa Teki here. We're gonna take a look at the Pelican Catch 100. Uh, I installed a skeg in the back, and I got some some pictures of that for y'all to see. And to sh sort of show you the difference between um, having one and not. So All right, you can see back there. I've got the skeg up, and I'm going to deploy it. There it is, deployed in the water, and I can also um, pull it up. So uh, let's take a look now at uh, paddling here and with the skeg not deployed. And I just paddled some, and it's not even windy. And my Pelican Catch 110 footer is just turning around. spinning it all still going straight which is great because uh, when you're spinning around and you're trying to take some pictures and this boat spins around on you or I guess if you're fishing uh, it's nice to have a, a skeg on this thing so here we are back at the uh, launch ramp taking a look at the skeg that I installed on the uh, Catch 100 by Pelican. This is a, an advanced element kayak skeg. They're inflatable. And I had to custom build and mount. And that's made out of a uh, cutting board, sanded down and, and glued together with uh, marine goop. And then I had to take this apart and lubricate it because it was tight. And then here is the, uh, the mount. So this is a quick release. Uh, just unscrew all this and it the whole thing comes out uh, of course this will pop off too if I want it and I had to install a hatch so that I could access it back in the back underneath and uh, what this is is it's mounted under here Let's see if you guys can see this See if you guys can see under there is the mounting plate. It's all stainless steel screws that hold it in place. They're a quarter inch. And this allows you to uh, you know raise this up with this rope here and lower it down with that one for when you're launching. And this just comes right off, so let me take this out. This skeg is uh, mounted on here. So you can see I uh, got a block, drill a hole, and this is a fixed skeg, so it's just fixed in there. And then the rest of this is just mounted on like this. I think in, uh, possibly in the future it might make more sense to have one with uh, some movement this way, just in case you need to adjust it. You, you don't you have to get it perfectly straight or pretty close to it but just in case you know you could give yourself a little bit of room there and then it just pops right off and it's completely removable for transport one of the nice things about having a skeg is you can spend more time focusing on your paddle than worrying about having to turn so you know Make your own, go buy one, put it on. I totally recommend a skag on the 10-foot kayak.